Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about my most recent bookstore tour to Elite at the Star Hill. So just like Tsutaya, Elite is a bookstore uh, company uh, based in Taiwan and it has quickly become one of the new upcoming hip bookstore in the big city in Kuala Lumpur. And if you have been pronouncing it as S Light all this time, no, it's actually Elite. The S is silent. I actually went there for a Hana Alkaf event. Most of us are adults <laughs> with the resources and emotional capacity to figure that out for ourselves. Um, and they were acting out in ways they normally wouldn't have. And that video is baking in the oven, so stay tuned. The Star Hill as a mall is actually a very exclusive. It's like a mini mall that has a lot of super duper luxury stuff over there. First of all, when you wind and walk in, you can actually enter from various entrances. You can enter from the main entrance, obviously, which will be immediately greeted by the stage. You can also enter from the side, which is where uh, the first thing that will be greeting you is the stationery store. Also, if you're in the lower floor, you can still access it from another entrance escalator that will lead you right into like a bridge. Uh, the bookstore actually occupy almost half the floor of the Star Hill. And the layout is surprisingly quite unique, I'd say. I think you can put it in the same category as Book Access from My Town Churras. Uh, but I think that I might actually am a fan of uh, Book Access of My Town Churras more. It's not in the same vein as Book Access in Chinatown just yet because that one is just on a different level and it has a lot of layers of heritage there. But this is actually quite cool and it's quite unique. For me, the book choice was fine. And of course, for now, Kinokuniya's um, collection is just simply unbeatable. But if you want to compare it to uh, its brother from a different mother, Sutaya, I'd say Sutaya is, um, has a bigger collection, which also kind of understandable since uh, based on size alone, Sutaya's ground cover is much bigger. But still, these two cannot beat Kino in terms of collection, even though initially when Sutaya was open, it was hyped as a bookstore that could be Kino Kunia's competitor. But still, not really. And if you just uh, say, if you bought a book, or if you're looking for a place to work or study, uh, the bookstore itself has uh, two in-store areas, at the very least the ones that I've seen, where you can actually open your laptop or do your reading. But I find it really pleasing that um, no one's making noise. It's a very bookish environment and I'm very pleased about that because last time when I went to Sutaya, it's always like, for some reason it's loud, it's very crowded. But I guess it's because at that time it was very newly opened and people are super hyped about this so-called brand new lifestyle bookstore with cafe and nice view and unfortunately really awful lighting. Seriously, the lighting in Sutaya is not made for a bookstore, which is why I'm really grateful with what Elite has done. The lighting is good there because of the opening in the middle and also the skylight. So you get a lot of natural lighting and it was actually really peaceful. And the bookstore also has an in-store cafe where you can uh, enjoy your tea, your coffee, your hot chocolate or juice while enjoying your book. And especially since the bookstore is on the edge of the opening and there's a lot of natural lighting which should be good but it's not gonna be comfortable when the weather's hot you will probably prefer a more air-conditioned area and if you have finished purchasing your books and you want to hang out at the cafe the cafe is very overpriced their hot chocolate cost 20 ringgit you can get one from Starbucks at 15 if I'm not mistaken, 15 ringgit. And they don't even like have a big size. I'm pretty sure it's like a super special Belgian chocolate, super expensive, dipped in gold maybe. But seriously, people just go there to buy books and chill with a nice cup of hot chocolate or a nice cup of coffee. So my tip here is that you get your book unless you're happy to spend your money on an overpriced coffee and over price hot chocolate, an overpriced juice, maybe an overpriced croissant. I think they sell cocktails over there too as well. I'd say good for you. Uh, go ahead. But I wouldn't recommend it. Just go grab a seat at the 
seating area in the bookstore, I think you will be more than comfortable. Just like Tsutaya, it also has a lot of uh, unique stationery, unique ceramics, unique uh, cutlery. There's also even a shop that sells DIY perfume and of course in there there's also an in-store cat kitchen. Surprisingly, the lifestyle stuff that was sold there was not as expensive as Sutaya. And if you're traveling to Malaysia, I think some of the stuff there actually makes really good souvenirs. Uh, there's a lot of localized design that, that has a lot of references to culture, and but at the same time, it's being very modern and cute. So aside from the DIY perfume section, the Kath Kitston, uh, there's also a separate section for pens. I'd say if you're into like... Um, calligraphy i think you would be really fascinated because i went there was really blown away it looks like a winery it looks like a speakeasy bar but instead of selling alcohol it sells you ink uh, i can tell that they have been very active in uh, attracting people to their bookstore through inviting uh, authors and speakers because i see a lot of the events lining up they have a good audio they, they have a stage and all the setup was quite nice and they also have two different areas this one large area that you see first thing when you enter in through the main entrance and there's also another area for kids specific for kids event and i'd see that parents really like uh, taking their kids to elite maybe because of the abundance of uh, children activities there the reading for children's book I'd say it's a good thing on their end they have been very proactive if you're a parent and you're looking to ignite your children's interest towards reading I'd say yeah it might be a really good place to start so to conclude elite um, feels more like a lifestyle store I realized that because I noticed that their stationary area is almost as big if not more than their bookstore area it's like a 60 percent book and 40 percent stationery which is not really a problem per se but i guess this is like a preference thing unfortunately like i said the collection wasn't as impressive as i expected but it is a really good bookstore if you're just looking for a place to buy books and read them afterwards. So that is my review of the Elite Bookstore at the Star Hill. If you've been there, what do you think? And if you haven't, would you go there? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.